An elementary school in Pennsylvania County has been the target of vandalism three times within a month. With broken windows and $60,000 in damage, WDBJ 7's Michaela Shelton explains how police and the school system are responding. As you can see and hear behind me, graffiti is being removed from the walls of Gretna Elementary School right now, which is just a fraction of the vandalism the school has seen over the past week. Last month, someone spray painted obscene pictures on the elementary school. And last week, the school was targeted again, but this time a classroom was broken into, windows were shot with a BB gun, and more paint was added on two separate nights. During the second vandalism, two officers on patrol spotted the suspect climbing out of a window, but lost him in the woods. We are doing our, our absolute best to, to put it into this and, and locate the, the person and make an arrest. The schools are safe. All the schools have SROs in them. We keep an eye on them. The chief of the Gretna Police Department believes one person may be responsible for all damage. He says they have increased police presence there at night and during the school day. We've increased our patrols, been more visible at nighttime, uh, been, been out there at night also walking the, the perimeter of the school to make sure that, that nothing else has happened. Chief Hewitt says the suspect also managed to avoid every security camera. Superintendent Mark Jones says they're working to get more cameras outside the school. We want to reassure our parents that, that we're doing everything that we can to keep our children safe. I hope parents realize that, that they are, the kids are in good hands. The damages total over $60,000 with broken computers, smart boards, and flooding in one classroom due to a rag in a sink. Parents express frustrations on social media over not being notified by the school until after the third incident. The superintendent says notifying parents is not a typical protocol after a vandalism. In this case, we decided that we would um, after the third incident because there was some concern in the in the community. Sometimes if you do that, it may, it may raise too much concern and we just need for the next day of class to go on for students and need for our students to feel safe and secure. The chief says the investigation is ongoing in partnership with the sheriff's office and the only description they have of the suspect is that the person was wearing dark clothing. In Gretna, Michaela Shelton, WDBJ7.